Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsosti, and welcome back to more Beltless Factorio. Last time we set up a bit of a rail system with some iron smelting, also some iron mining, and as you can see, it is working beautifully. Um, one train is already fully loaded up, second train as well, so now these chests will just get filled up. Um, however, we also noticed when looking at the card that there are quite a few cliffs in the way of uh, our grid, so today we want to deal with that and for this we need a bit of oil and i did a bit of research already so we have explosives but actually we need the cliff explosives for that um, and we need that one first so let's do that and as you can see from the map, I have also explored uh, a bit more, uh, mainly because uh, around here with our mining outpost, uh, we produce more pollution down here. Want to make sure there are no alien nests in the way. And found the iron uh, uranium patch down here. So we will get to that. And then I think I will need a few more um, large uh, power poles. Um, and for them I probably need... Iron sticks. We have them here. More iron sticks, 12 more. Um, then probably I should make sure that there is a bit of iron in there so we can actually produce more. Um, then I also crafted a few pump jacks. I have an oil refinery. I have three chemical plants. Um, probably need a few um, pipes because I think for uh, for sulfur we might ah. Uh, we need coal somewhere. Anyway, uh, let's let's go down there, respectively. Uh, let's find the end of uh, this line here. Place in uh, power poles. And then I will put this power line here on the on this side so it does not conflict with the with the rail. Oh, and okay, that was a fast one, uh, but now we can actually do this one. This will take a bit longer, I imagine. It's 200 science packs. Okay, then let's have the pump checks there. Put that there. And 
then connect this that way. And then we need sulfur and for that we need water. Um, in a pump the closest water is back here somewhere Here we will use underground and hopefully I do have enough. Does not look like it. Yeah. And not enough iron to produce more. So we will have this one here and then um, four explosives we also need water and we need coal well, let's place chest of coal there, chest for the output, and then I think the cliff explosives, we will craft them by hand, because there we also need barrels and uh, grenades. which we will also have to craft by hand. But let me grab some more iron for pipes and uh, then I can finish that. And by that time, hopefully, the uh, research is done and we can proceed with the actual uh, work on the cliff explosives and the rails. Our research is almost done and the setup down here as well uh, should work. We get the uh, petroleum refining, we get the sulfur uh, that then is put into the explosives um, where we have water we have a chest of uh, coal and an output chest. In here we don't need any more. And what will be next? Maybe batteries. Be good. Ooh, and batteries, plastics, because we want to go to a uh, chemical science um, so that we can get our construction robots because that will become really handy. So once I have set this up, we should see the whole thing starting to work. Yes. And I did craft myself a few uh, uh, hand grenades. Um, we can craft a few, um, a few uh, barrels. So let's build that here. And have another set of chests there. Put in the hand grenade there. 
then build the barrels. Oh, and one cliff explosives takes ten explosives. However, only one barrel and uh, one grenade. So the uh, the explosives that's that's the part where we consume most and then I think it makes time to wait a while until we have a few of the cliff explosives so we can actually deal with uh, all the cliffs that currently annoy us and then we can start to expand the rail network so that we can then eventually uh, also have a mining post here for copper. Uh, we get this already planned out um, rail system set up um, and we probably also want to um, uh, get a proper setup for crude oil uh, and uh, well I think that's still a few episodes ahead so the next goal is really to get copper get another uh, set up for smelting and then we have the two main resources and then we can start uh, adding uh, to the pipeline uh, so that we can have automated science packs. Uh, first just the uh, green and the red one but I think for the blue we then already need uh, uh, red circuits and, uh, and plastics. Uh, we'll, we will see uh, we will let the, the time pass here a bit until we get some cliff explosives. By the looks of it, we have quite some cliff explosives, so let's take three stacks. I also crafted myself a car to get around a little bit faster. Especially if I have to run back and forth between the, the different uh, outposts. So in this direction we will have to deal with a bit of cliff here. Then we should be good. I would assume that we also come down here somewhere, which means more cliffs are in the way. Then we have a bunch of cliffs here. No more. of course down here down here we have more and of course this side and if we want to make use of This square, we need to clear it out. Good. Then I think we will copy this part. It should 
define up is this and we will have another square there because at the moment I think we need quite a few uh, squares just for for smelting and uh, all the small things so and let's get this square cleaned up and there we have few trees in the way these can be dealt with uh, easily and then of course it's also a manner of laying all the tracks which can take a while without robots And, and let's see. Probably we want to extend this line of square over to here until we get close to the copper patch. So let's clear out these dead trees and these alive trees because in the end we will need wood Can we have one more before we hit before we hit the, the copper field? Yes, but probably we will not go in this direction. Right. And Somewhere along here, I kept off the power. So let's get rid of those trees and those cliffs. in the right position that should also help with uh, the power and then more cliffs to get rid of there is a tree here are two more trees. And here another power pole. There another one. 
there. Oh, there we have. Hmm. Apparently we have more. Missing than I thought. Okay. Then down there, that's the last one. And then it's back to placing some rails and uh, clearing uh, more space out. That's, that's a bit of a weird connection. Uh, can we... Yeah, we can fix that. All right, I will clean up this mess, lay out some more rails, and then we shall see in the next episode how we fare with uh, the copper project. Until then, goodbye.